The provisional referendum result was as predicted by both the government, which says it's the people's will, and the opposition, who say the vote was illegal and rigged. The electoral authority said 95% of voters were in favour of changing the constitution. President Faustin Archange Toidera has been in office since 2016. The constitutional changes would allow him to stay for another 16 years. His government says they'll bring stability and development. It was a question of meeting the needs of the people. The people are above the President of the Republic, so when people ask for something, we have an obligation to respond. It was necessary to propose a new law. Turnout at polling stations in the capital Bangui was visibly low during last week's vote. Opposition and rights groups say they've been threatened and attacked for campaigning against the changes. They called on people to boycott it and say turnout was about 10%. The electoral authority says it was six times that. These elections could not be transparent. In almost all the polling stations, there were no ballot papers, and ballot boxes have been stuffed. The only purpose for which the president decided to change the constitution is to run again in the elections in 2025. Tuadeva's government depends on Russian mercenaries from the Wagner Group and Rwandan soldiers to control Bangui and some of the towns. The foreign forces benefit from access to the vast mineral wealth, including gold and diamonds. About half the population is in need of humanitarian aid, and about half a million people have been forced from their homes. Armed groups control much of the countryside. They also ordered people not to vote. But for many, staying safe and finding food is more important than politics. After decades of coups and conflict, a new constitution was adopted in 2016. The government looks set to change it. The final results are expected in three weeks. In the meantime, the preliminary results can be challenged in court, but the opposition say Tuadeira's government already controls all the institutions. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.